chapter 11, our own little book club. Danny Purcell brought Wait Till Helen Comes on Monday, and I read it that night. It was awesome. It was scary, but not scary stories to tell in the dark scary. The little girl in it, the one with the funny haircut on the cover, is so creepy. She hates her new stepbrother and stepsister, and she tells them a ghost she met in the graveyard is going to come after them and punish them for being mean to her. When Rebecca finished from the mix-up files, which she liked, mostly I think because Mrs. Frankweiler is all the time talking to her lawyer, she read Danny's copy of Wait Till Helen Comes while Danny read from the mixed-up files. It's like we had our own little book club. Rebecca caught me at my locker at the end of lunch one day. Amy Ann, I looked all over for you in the cafeteria. Where were you? I got a pass to go to the library instead, I told her. Even though my favorite book still wasn't on the shelf, there were lots of other books I wanted to read. Oh, I see how it is, Rebecca said, pretending to be angry. You loved books more than you loved your best friend? Well, I don't need you. I've got Helen. She's my only real friend. Even though nobody else can see her, you just wait till Helen comes, then you'll be sorry. We cracked up laughing together. Danny loped over to us and brushed his hair out of his eyes. Hey, what's so funny? We could barely answer him. We were laughing so hard. Just wait till Helen comes, I said, trying to sound spooky. Then you'll be sorry. Is that from that book? Danny said. No fair joking about it before I've read it. I only just finished Basil E. Frankweiler, and I want to read that Scary Stories book next. I froze and shook my head, my eyes wide. I hid it, I told him. Why? Danny said. Is it really scary? I let it a little squeak. Danny pulled my locker door wide open. Where is it? I want to read it. The book wasn't in my locker. It wasn't under my mattress either. I hadn't been able to sleep knowing it was there. Right at that moment, it was hidden in an old gym bag at the back of my closet, buried under a pile of clothes. I grabbed my locker door to close it and explain why Scary Stories wasn't there. And that's when I saw it. There was a note in my locker mailbox.